Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I want to talk about peeing on an airplane. For years, I could not pee on an airplane and traveling was really stressful for me. I used to use a Foley catheter every time I traveled long distances, longer than like two hours on a plane. Even when I wore a Foley catheter, I didn't fully relax because I wasn't used to wearing a Foley catheter and it was an uncomfortable situation. I was scared that I was going to rip it out when I transferred. I wasn't used to having the leg bag. It just was, it felt weird. It just felt weird to me when I wore a Foley catheter. It felt better than not having a way to pee at all, but it still felt really uncomfortable. So that's why I decided that I wanted to learn how to cath on an airplane so that it didn't matter what length the flight was, if I had to pee, I could pee. And I think for me, that is one of the biggest things especially because I have so many videos about how to pee in different situations, it feels awful to feel trapped not having a way to go to the bathroom. It just feels really uncomfortable and stressful when you have to pee and you're thinking about where am I gonna pee, how am I gonna pee, and am I gonna pee my pants, all of those things. And so I wanted to be able to pee in any situation and I've pretty much achieved that. So today I just wanna share with you guys some tips about how I successfully cath on an airplane, no matter what flight I'm taking, short or long. So the first thing I think that's important to note is that I do cath from my chair and can basically cath from anywhere because I always have a zipper in my pants. So if you've never watched any of my videos on how I pee, then now's the time to go. I'll put them in the description below. I'll link a couple of them or maybe the whole playlist. I'll link the whole playlist. Uh, to the cards above here. So if you want to stop this video and go watch all of the how I pee videos Then you can see why peeing from an airplane seat or in the airplane bathroom or in a car Is no big deal for me because I always have a zipper in the crotch of my pants And I just scooch my butt to the end of things and I'm able to calf pretty much anywhere So that's number one if you're not at that stage yet and you are still calfing on a bed none of these tips are going to apply to you because this is pretty much all with the assumption that you can cath from your chair or that you can cath from uh, like a seat of a car or something like that. So if you can't do that, then step number one is going to watch my video on how I pee from anywhere and basically testing out that technique. So number one, the thing that I always do when I'm on a plane now is when they're putting me in my seat when I'm on the aisle chair, before I even go to my seat, I ask them, to wheel me to the to the bathroom so that I can see what the bathroom on the plane looks like because sometimes the bathroom on the plane is really uh, quite well set up for somebody to transfer from their chair, the, the, the onboard aisle chair, to the toilet. Sometimes it's right by the door and sometimes it's across from the door which makes it really hard. So you'll know at the beginning of the flight whether the transfer is gonna be possible for you or whether the person you're with is gonna to have to lift you. You can start sort of planning ahead for when you have to go to the bathroom. So that's tip number one, is make sure you see the bathroom when you first board the plane. It will make your life so much easier and will allow you to plan out what you're gonna do when you wanna try and cap. Number two is ask if they have an onboard aisle chair because an onboard aisle chair is just like an aisle chair that puts you in at the beginning of the flight, but it's on the flight. It's actually on the plane. It just folds up. So almost all flights will have an onboard aisle chair and sometimes they don't even know they have it because they never use it. So make sure you ask them to check and check with the other flight attendants and maybe even check with the pilot because sometimes the flight attendant will not know what you're talking about. But check if they have an onboard aisle chair. They can unfold the onboard aisle chair and wheel you to the bathroom if you need to get to the bathroom. If they don't have that, then you know that you're either going to have to stay in your seat or if you have somebody that's with you that can lift you, that you'll have to get that person to lift you into the bathroom if you want to try cathing on the toilet in the airplane bathroom. So those are the first two really important things just to make sure that you can actually like have confidence or not have confidence in the bathroom situation at first when you first board the plane. And if you do have confidence, that you can get to the bathroom with the onboard aisle chair or you can start deciding to make a plan for another way to get to the bathroom if you wanna to get to the bathroom. If neither of those things pan out, there's not an onboard aisle chair and you know the bathroom is not a transfer you can make, 
then you can start deciding, hey, how am I going to cap in the seat of the airplane? So in order to do this part, I always carry with me a catheter that is a catheter and bag all in one. The one that I specifically use is a Coloplast um, Speedy Cath Compact Set. That's the name of it. Um, and it's a hydrophilic catheter. It's totally discreet. It comes in this little thing. You wouldn't even ever know that it was a catheter. If you were to take it on, on your flight, you could put it in your carry-on, in your purse, whatever. And I always carry at least two of these. Please don't just take one. Always have at least two, just in case one, you know, you miss the hole or something. Always have two. So if I, even if I cath in the bathroom on the plane, I take this and cath into this because the plane bathroom doesn't have water in the toilet. So if you're cathing into that, then you can't really hear when you stop peeing. And so I've made this mistake before where I've used a regular catheter and I've sort of like pulled the catheter forward so that I could see where the pee was coming out and I angled the catheter backwards and it ended up just peeing all over my butt. And because I pee with my pants on because I have a zipper in the crotch, I didn't take my pants off. And so then my pants got soaking wet with pee. So it totally defeated the purpose of me cathing at all and I had pee all over my pants which was super uncomfortable for the entire rest of the flight because I was wet, I was scared that I sunk like pee, it was just awful. So I always cath into one of these just because then I don't have to worry about cathing into the toilet. I do like to go into the airplane bathroom though because some people might be like, wow, why do you go into the bathroom if you're just gonna cath into the same bag you would cath into on in your chair? Well, it's more private. So if I can get into the airplane bathroom and sit on the toilet and use this catheter on the toilet, then it's more private. I don't have to worry about people, you know, noticing what I'm doing in my chair right next to them. Um, so it's more private. So I would rather cath in an airplane bathroom, even though I'm going to cath into a bag that catches the pee and not actually into the toilet. So if I'm in the bathroom of the airplane, I, I open this up, which I'll show you what it looks like. It's a catheter and bag all in one. So the, the bag is just wrapped around this little thing, just opens up. And then this part twists off and the catheter is inside. You can put this back and twist it back up. Um, and if you dump the pee out of this, you can wrap this around and put this back together and close it up if you want to and chuck it out that way. But normally I just leave the pee in this bag if you want to dump it out, there's a little um, like tab on this and it has a little arrow you can rip and then pour out of this bag. But if you don't rip anything on this bag, it's totally contained. It's like uh, waterproof or spill proof, I guess. It won't, the pee won't come out of this at all. So um, I pee into this and then I always carry with me um, like grocery bags like this in my backpack so that I have that on my, in the plane, in my carry-on or on, in my purse, whatever. I always carry a backpack, but if you have a purse, whatever it is that you carry on the plane, carry three or four of these. And if they're like dark color, like a Walmart bag, even better, because then you can't really see what's in it. But once I'm done peeing, um, this is like usually like half full of pee. And then I just like fold it up, put it in the bag, tie it, two bags usually tie it up and I throw it in the garbage. Um, and that's how I pee in the airplane bathroom. If I'm not in the bathroom, then I'll ask the flight attendant for a blanket to put over my lap. And um, I'll just say that I'm cold or my coat even. And then I'll scooch my butt to the end of my seat, open the zipper in the crotch of my pants and just cap into this same way. And then um, when I'm done, I discreetly put it in the bag, tie it up, and I'll just even like give it to the flight attendant and say it's garbage. Or at the end of the flight, I'll take it um, with me to the garbage as I exit the plane. So that's how I learned how to cap on a plane, really by using a catheter and bag all in one that I'm able to cap into, whether I'm in the bathroom of the airplane or sitting at my seat. I hope these tips were helpful helpful for you guys. If anybody wants a sample of this catheter that I use, you can go to the Coloplast website. I'll put a link in the description below. And you, underneath the product, any of the Coloplast products actually, you can just say request sample and they'll send you free of charge 
uh, the sample of whatever product you want. You could choose one, two, or three different products um, that you wanted from their website and they'll send you a sample of each of them so that you can try them because nobody knows what catheters are gonna work for them until they try them. And once I found this one, I was like, this is awesome. So now I use it for taking a sterile urine sample or going on a plane, traveling, anywhere where I can't access the bathroom. If you guys have any questions about how I pee on an airplane, please leave them in the comments. If any of you have suggestions on how you make it easier to pee on a plane, please also leave those in the comments because I feel like the comments are just a wealth of information for other people that come to these videos to learn and then they can learn from more than just one person at the same time when there's a whole bunch of suggestions in the comments as well. So please do that if you have other ways that you have found to make it easier to pee on a plane. That's all I got for you guys today. Until next time guys, see ya.